that's the only way that haters will go their own direction. Haters. Haters hate. That's all they do is hate. And if they put all that energy into loving, think how great they would be. It's terrible. It's terrible that some of the... You, don't, you can't really spot a hater, you know? You can't spot them. Like, you're walking down the road, there's lots and lots of people. And it's really hard to say, lover, hater, lover, hater. The only way you know if someone's a hater is if they personally hate you. And they only hate you because of many, many reasons that we can't go into, because that would just give them power. But basically, I just can't understand why haters hate so much. Because to me, hating is like a feeling. And a feeling is like an emotion. And if you put that power and emotion into love or into yourself, into like achieving something, into like making life better, then surely you would be the best person around. You just got to put all that energy into good things. So like to all the haters out there, Hate is no good, and it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make anyone shine. How can you shine when you hate? It's a very sad, sad life to hate. Now, I had times in my life when I drunk too much, or someone I loved wouldn't talk to me, or, yeah, it's normally girlfriends and relationships, and for a while you hate them. But a real man like me, I look back on everyone that I ever spent time with and I have so much love and respect for all of them. That was time. We shared. We shared time. We shared time together. And that time will last forever. And if we took a time machine back to them moments and them times, if we took a time machine back to any of them moments, then I'd be smiling. So there's never no hate for me. I don't hate anyone. And even people that hate me, I don't hate them because that would be going like they do. I just, I just forget about them and I ignore them. And I think about all the love. Now, come on, the lovers. Now, love is, loving is not just for male and female love because I'm a male. And I, I, I only love females sexually, but I love males as I love. Love is not just for sexual reasons love is also for you love your dad you, you love your mum you love your sister you love your brother you love everybody and that is love every day love every night and that is me and i've got friends that i love but it doesn't mean i'm gay i love my friends because they're beautiful friends and i ha i have some wonderful friends so for the f for the few people that don't like me all of the all of the friends i've got makes me rise above and this film will definitely give strength to anyone that is going through the hate because hate can wait hate will never ever get the time of day not when it comes to proper people because proper people they don't hate they ignore they shine and they love every day they love every night and i am one of them people i love every day and i love every night and I love the real few good people there is in life. And people, people are whatever they are. But please don't ever, ever get sucked into hate. Never. Dylan. So remember, if you've got haters, you're doing really well. Come on, boy. Come on. So remember, if you've got haters, you must be doing well. Because people only hate people that are trying to sort their life out. Trying to make a go of their life. You wouldn't hate someone that hasn't achieved anything and hasn't got anything. They're not worth hating. 
So you've got to know that if you've got haters, you must, in some weird way, you must be doing well. <laughs> when I was younger, I went to a school in Clacton called Clapton County High School. And because I lived in Jaywick, a lot of the other students would say to me, oh, you're from Jaywick, so you're scum. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm not from Jaywick. I live there today. I was born in Rugby, Warwickshire. I was born in Rugby, Warwickshire, where Lady Diana was born. We moved to Clapton when I was four in 1979. We moved to Jaywick when I was 11 in 1986. And then in the 90s, I, moved, I lived in London and I lived in Colchester. And I lived in pretty quite a few countries all around the world. So I wouldn't say that I am from Jaywick. I just fell in love with Jaywick. But I got hate when I was younger because I lived in Jaywick. And that is just disgusting. I hear there's young people today that had problems with other kids at school because of the same thing. Oh, you're from Jaywick, you're scum. That is disgusting. That is racism, that is prejudice, and that is pure evil hate. Dylan! Come here, boy. Come, boy. Where are you? Good boy. Come on in. There's no need for hate, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got to teach people this is not the way forward. So, all the kids that watch my films that don't live in Jaywick, can you please tell other people not to, like, pick on people because they're from Jaywick? You know, they deserve a medal because they live in Jaywick. We don't have the same infrastructure as everybody else, but we've got some really good souls here. And all the people I know, they work hard, they pay their taxes. I don't see why people have got such a thing about where people are from. It's not where people are from. It's who people are, and it's how they treat others. And they are the people that are worthy. And there is no need for hate anymore. We need... Come in, come on. So ladies and gentlemen, please. Try and help us in Jaywick overcome this hate of, oh, you come from Jaywick, so you're scum. Nah, it doesn't mean people are scum because they come from Jaywick. Jaywick's a very, very nice place, and there's some very, very nice people here. And there's scum all over the world. There's scum in other countries. There's scum in other places. I don't see why people want to, like, pick on Jaywick so much. They must have issues or something wrong with them, because why else would you pick on someone that has done nothing wrong to you? I don't get it. Anyway, I've just made this video because I'm fed up with all of the hate that I see and hear and feel and taste and it's a disgrace and I would like it all to end. So I'm making this film to say that if you're a hater, no one likes you, no one cares about you and no one ever, ever remembers anything that you say. Whoever remembers what a hater says, no one. But if you're a lover and you love every day and you love every night and people hate you, and they're jealous of you and all that sort of stuff, then you're doing all right. Because people are only hurtful and jealous and hateful of people that are doing okay. So remember, when you've got haters, you're doing okay. And the only way I give, the only way I believe is to love every day and love every night. That is the only way. And if you're a hater or you know any haters, tell them to hate off and tell all the lovers to love on because love is forever and hate is never never